Hey YouTube, coming back at you with another Dogecoin update. You can see I've circled, just like in my Bitcoin update, I've circled the last sort of point of where the last update existed. So right in here, we, we had come down, we had tested what became the bottom of a channel, a trend line. And since then we have rallied up, found resistance, retraced, and swung that low. Now check this out for a double bottom. I'll get rid of this. If I look at that, look at that line there. That is a classic swing fail pattern where the price action pushes just beyond the previous low and gets a, a, a pivot basically. And back up we went, there's basically a double bottom. So bottom, bottom, and then rallied up. Um, we are currently trending back at, on the like, okay, let's talk like a really micro, a five minute chart. We're trending back down here. Uh, we're testing this low. This is on the five minute chart. So we're, we're very zoomed in. We're seeing if this low will break or hold probably going to break, I would say. Um, but let's see what happens. So from a Fibonacci perspective, let's have a look because there's a Fib that exists between here and here. It's like a shorter time frame one. And we could come all the way back down to 10 cents again, test the top of our range. That would be like a golden pocket test. Uh, a 0.5 test would be 10.059. So yeah, very close um, on this time frame, on this sort of stretch here. Now, if we go back out again, you can see I got a, I had a Fibonacci retracement drawn out. We we haven't even we haven't even quite come back to the 0.5 uh, Fibonacci level uh, from this run here, from this low to this high, but doesn't mean to say that we have to but it could happen like we could, we could get another travel down here and then you know wick into it and then get support off it and then trend back up to the top of the channel but uh, other than that much like bitcoin not a not a whole lot happens uh over the weekend because doge tends to follow bitcoin quite closely as far as like directional sentiment and price action not not always it's not like a, a hard rule but it's a lot of the time it's highly probable that it does that um, so with that in mind let's see if um, let's see if there's any like setups happening right now we do have a trend line that is like sort of forming inside of the channel here so this is the channel there is like a, if I take this high point, there's a sharper, sharper action. Like maybe, maybe it's more something like that. There is like a, the bottom side, it has been quite consistent. So we'll leave it like that. I think this might be the trend and less so unless not as much so this channel this descending channel sorry uh let me just extend this line all the way until it runs into the channel the bottom of the channel here so this is a falling wedge which is a bullish pattern so i would argue that doge is in a bullish formation at the moment on the, on the one hour chart so if you were to like Let's go to the like. Let's go to the four hour just so we get a bit more um, candle information on the screen. So you can see, yeah, uptrend, a descent in like a wedge type structure, and then we're we're basically waiting for that breakout moment. So remember the grander, like the bigger. 
let me just make these thicker because it's like higher time frame. So we had this, we had that falling wedge, which almost produced an uptrend, but we, we come back into it. We've tested another time at the bottom of the wedge. And now we're dealing with this wedge here on a smaller time frame. So it's pretty much where I'm seeing it at the moment. Um, by next update video should have a, an answer as to whether this got respected or not. Let me just draw in a green line which depicts the bottom of this this formation here, this, this trend line like that. Let's make them different. Let's make them dashed or something. I just need to make them stand out from the other. So we got that and that. Cool. All right, uh, I might lock those because we don't want them moving around on us. So yeah, that's about it, guys. There was not a hell of a lot to talk about since the last update. It was just basically a, a swing fail um, beyond that low and a bounce. And we're still very much underneath. We're still in the downtrend structure. We have not broken back up. We haven't changed the character of the downtrend. Uh, I'll circle the reason why. These are the pivots. Um, if technically, if you were to call that a pivot, that means we have changed the character back up because we got higher than the previous low. Because remember, it's the highs that define a down a downtrend, and it's the lows that define an uptrend. So. If this has been a change of character, this, this high here, then what we need is a higher low now. Because remember, it's the lows that define an uptrend. Highs define a downtrend, lows define an uptrend. So we need a higher low to come in. Um, and that may be on that wedge. Or, you know, the top side of this red, this, this up higher time frame falling wedge. So we're sort of sk skirting along the uh, top edge of it. Anyway guys, thanks again for uh, tuning in for another Crypto Down Under Dogecoin update. Um, I don't know if tomorrow there will be much to talk about uh, compared to yeah what, what's been happening uh, in the last few hours. But if something dramatic happens, I'll be sure to, to uh, update everyone and try my best to put up a video um, but other than that thanks again for tuning in and i will catch you on the next video